great on getting to lunch. After lunch, make it to dinner. After dinner, do everything you need to do to get back in that bed. No matter how bad your day was, you get a fresh start tomorrow because your bed was made right. And the enemy's all your doubts, all your fears, and everyone you know back home that told you you weren't good enough to do this. Keep your head down no matter what, never quit, and you'll be just fine. Keep moving forward. All right. Uh, there's a little little motiv- motivational uh, speech for you there this morning. And you know what? It, it, we always talk about, you know, be on the pos- be positive, be on the up and up. You know, never never stop trying. And I know I've said a, a few times, you know, just, just like right here, what happened is... Even though you may not complete your mission, as long as you give it 110% every day, you know, don't, don't piddle paddle around through life. As long as you're giving it your all every single fucking day, even if you don't complete your task, you should be able to lay your head down at night and be like, you know what? I gave it my all. I did my best. And that should be good enough for you. I mean, you have the power to change you in the different aspects of life and what you go through. And how you take it. But all in all, everyday life experiences, and push yourself. The more you push yourself and you're good and you do good things, you do great things for great people, even those who don't deserve it, good karma is going to come back around and it's going to bless you. And you're just going to have more and more great things come to you. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed to have the family that I do at Dangerous Grounds Network, Brandy Warriors Inc., and stuff like that. We go through trials and tribulations. Of course we do. It's life, but we keep pushing and keep motivating and keep doing doing what what we know is the best, you know. Yeah, yesterday we had a little fucking hiccup, but you know what? That hiccup fucking changed itself real fucking quick. <laughs> Morning, killer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it changed itself real fucking quick. Now all of a sudden there's like apology letters and all this other shit. I don't think the person knew how much shit they were getting themselves into, but <laughs> you know. Just goes to show you do the right thing, stay positive, stay on the up and up, do what you're supposed to, and give it your all. There's no limits to, to what you can achieve. What do you think about that, Ghost? I agree. I mean, every day of your life, some facet of your life, there's going to be some kind of trial or tribulation. As long as you stay positive to that tribulation, whatever it may be, the outcome is always going to be a positive outcome. What do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about that bit? That Smash Lee had for us. I actually got to see that last night. Oh, awesome, awesome. Righteous. Yeah, it gives me chills every time I listen to it. Because, (laughs) I mean, you can take it in so many different facets of life. I mean, you apply it to, you know, our brothers and sisters who are out there fighting the fight just to, to keep living. And, you know... If that could be played every day for someone who's struggling with suicidal idealization or something like that, you know, that may give them that little bit of hope to get over the hump. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I look at it as that speech itself can be applied to so many different facets of everything we have going on in the world right now. And every time I listen to it, I get chills. <laughs> like, my, the hair on my arm stands up. And, and you know you should it should get people chills and stuff. It's a great fucking bit, and, it, and it's right to every aspect that he's fucking talking about. Honestly, I think it is. Anyway, I mean he's he, he's right. You know, it, push yourself. Yeah, and that's Ooh. one thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny that uh, <laughs> that somebody. I mean the Navy Seals. I mean, come on, you're going out for the Navy Seals. You're already batshit crazy. <laughs> I got fucking god damn! I got great news. What? Okay. I don't. I didn't get my fucking letter yet, but I, I went in and like Sheree was talking to me about to check my shit. So I went yeah, in to online. check my shit this sp- Yeah, online. And even though I haven't gotten my official letter in the mail yet, my disability rating went up. Awesome. Congratulations. Fuck yeah. So Hell yeah. I went from seventy percent to ninety percent. Fucking that's dude. That's that's banger rank right there, brother. Congratulations. Um. That ninety percent will help out tremendously. Yeah. Um, well, and and if you're ninety percent, are you employable, Ghost? Uh, 
I don't know because I haven't gotten the actual paperwork from them to determine you that. But as far as I know, for me, like you should be. I've had issues. I've had issues with like working <laughs> um, right. just because of my back. Depending on what the work is, like the last job I had was at a gas as a, at a gas station. You know, I did. I didn't want to work at the gas station, but it was just I needed the money. Um, so I did it. And I even told the, the owners, like, look, you know, I don't ask me to do any kind of heavy, crazy lifting. I'll, I'll take care of the registers. You know, I'll clean up here and there, but don't ask me to do any heavy lifting. Of course, they had me dragging around a fucking 90 foot, fucking 90 foot water hose, solid rubber around the parking lot, spraying a parking lot off all night long. And then, uh, you know, a 35 pound fucking leaf blower to blow off the fucking lot. And right. it, it got to my back more, but. The, that really wasn't the issue. The issue for me was the fucking idiot that I worked with that I flipped that on on a nightly basis. <laughs> well, and I mean, the reason I'm asking because at ninety percent, you can if you're not employable, if you if you and Doc in your primary care physician say, you know, there's really nothing that's not going to affect your back or or your your other disabilities, you can actually put in an application or more paperwork. To get a hundred percent rating, but be still be at ninety for being non-employable. Yeah. And I can help you with that if you need me to. I don't know. If, I didn't know if you knew that or not. No, I didn't know that. Probably still are employable. Normally, it's it's a hundred percent that gets the unemployable status, but you gotta be really fucked up. To no, not- but what I, what I'm saying is 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 if his doctor, like he can be ninety percent, but if his doctor or, you know, whomever states, you know, basically his job choices are extremely limited or, you know, working hurts. Mm -hmm. If there's enough proof to show that having a full-time job um, is not in his, in his future, he doesn't have to be necessarily a hundred percent to get that. He'll be 90% at a hundred percent rating for non-employable status. All right. Well, I mean, the yeah, documentation they, and proof they gave, that he's not able to work will help push that over too. Yeah, they they gave me increases all across the board. Like uh, my post traumatic stress increased from I believe fifty to seventy, and then they gave me um, lumbosal strain, which is my back. They actually gave me a overall sixty uh, for that for my forty, but then they also gave me lower see left lower extremity. 20%, right lower extremity, 10%. Now, what that is, I have no clue because I've never bought an independent claim on that stuff. Say it again? So, what was it that? just says left, yeah, it just says left lower extremity, service connected, 20%, which was effective rating as of That's today. Your left leg. And, and then uh, right, right lower extremity, 10% effective today. That's your right leg. Okay. Yeah. So, they're claiming your legs for something. It. It should, we'll, we'll talk about it offline, man. It, it we'll, may, it should yeah, say we'll talk about it offline. Yeah, descriptions. They should give you a description of what they're what they're pulling that off of, or what they're well, claiming. Well, it, might, it, might come in, uh, it might even just be your gait. Rod C! <laughs> There's that here? cupcake. Good morning there, sweetheart. <laughs> yes, Ron is in the chat group. <laughs> Just in time for me to order my breakfast, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we were talking about North Korea here just a little bit ago. So uh, here's what they put out last night. Okay. Check this out. We will see a horrible loss of human life. Probably 300 to 400,000 in the first week civilian and military, probably over two million by the time three weeks is up. If I'm a North Korean commander, I will unleash the firepower of my artillery and inflict as much death and destruction on the South as I can. And in the first hours, there will literally be hundreds of thousands of artillery rounds and rockets fired to the South, and many of them into Seoul. With their reserve forces of some six million, I think they're the fourth largest army in the world. The scenarios that could lead to war is when Kim Jong-un believes he is threatened. And this can be an external threat by a preemptive strike from the United States, by a miscalculation of 
alliance military moves where he thinks the regime is subject to extreme threat. Our task will be to use air power to hold those guys off as much as we can until we can get heavier stuff in there. The first thing you got to do is to get all your stuff combat loaded on ships. Tanks, trucks, armor, artillery, infantry, all the stuff that goes with that. And that will take anywhere from three or four days for the U.S. Marine Corps guys coming in out of Japan to almost three weeks for the heavy tanks to come in all the way from Texas. The North Koreans have about two to three weeks of stocks, ammunition, food, fuel, etc., to fight a war. That's all they got. So their war plan has to include accomplishing all of the goals that they have within that short time frame. Because after that, they're living off the land. As the war starts to go bad for them, most units will start to collapse. Once their army starts to collapse, it's going to be a very, very rapid de-escalation of uh, conflict. So, you know, everybody is trying to give the fucking rocket man over here, you little fat slant out some bitch, a fucking some some advice saying, you know, stand fucking down. Don't fuck around. <laughs> it, it's Don't it's fuck time. Around. Yeah, he's fucking around. That's that's damn straight. Had to work on your beauty sleep, Ryan. I hear you, Bubba. You sexy beast. <laughs> but you know these these assholes. You know they're not that far from Japan. You know, and our forces will crank the fuck up real quick. Like you heard, three to four days. You know, in that three to four days, I hate to say it, but South Korea is kind of fucked. <laughs> you know, they don't they don't have the the firepower or whatnot that North Korea has. But you know, <laughs> like 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 the Russians have said, you're a regional player. You're not a fucking superpower. So <laughs> yeah, stand the fuck down. So you know, keep. Keep, keep those people in our prayers and shit because, whew, I, I don't want to see anybody get killed or anything like that. I don't want to see no mass destruction of any fucking country. But this guy just don't, apparently just don't fucking get it. So, yeah. yeah. He's in, the, in for a rude fucking awakening. Uh, all right. So, we about to hit that halfway mark. Let's go into our little commercial break. Then we'll pop off with a little song and then, uh, We'll come back to give y'all a big fucking surprise. So here's a word from... Oh, it's gonna buffer. You son of a bitch. Here's a word Welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Network. Hey guys and gals, why don't you take your dick beaters off the video games in your phone and listen to the Dangerous Grounds Network. We play whatever you want over here, baby. <laughs> this is the Dangerous Grounds Network. Let's get dangerous. You don't have to be lonely. Veterans are only that come. This is Sam from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. Branded Warriors Inc., the original tattoo therapy program in America. Big Country and his band of warriors will take care of all America's heroes with one drop of ink at a time. Go to BWITattoos.org to fill out your application and send it to BWITattoos at Yahoo.com. Then the power of the ink and BWI will heal your mind. Black Rose Tattoo Shop. Veteran Rand and Branded Warriors Preferred Tattoo Shop. BlackRoseTattoo.com. All your tattoo knees. This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Ground Network. Hey, you want a freedom boner or what? Listen now. What's up? This is AJ from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. And we're going to put a little bit of freedom all up in you. Where's the freedom? <laughs> 